Conservative commentator Ben Stein went on Fox News to discuss the upcoming election, and things got awkward and racial very quickly. I think what the White House is doing is trying to racialize all politics, and they're especially trying to tell the African-American voter that the GOP is against letting them have a chance at a good life in this economy, and that's just a complete lie. I, I watch with fascination, with incredible fascination, all the stories about how the Democratic politicians, especially Hillary, are trying to whip up the African-American vote and say, uh, oh, the Republicans have policies against black people in terms of the economy. But there are no such policies. The Republicans want a vigorous uh, econ economy, the same as everyone else. Uh, there, there's, that whole idea that the economy is being used in some way to oppress minorities is just an outrageous lie. Well, and we've seen with uh, Senator Mary Landrieu in a tough battle trying to hold on to her seat down in Louisiana. Comments this week talking about how it's not been a good environment for African Americans no. or for women in the South. That's so, I mean, that lie. talking point is out there. It's a complete lie. I mean, the Republicans are every bit in favor of, uh, as much in favor of African Americans having a good life. I'd say more in favor than the Democrats. And the idea that the Republicans are in some way making life difficult for black people is just nonsense. Well, it's just absolute nonsense. I mean, they might as well say the Republicans are coming down from the moon. I mean, it's just nonsense. Well, but what do you say to their claims that Republicans cut budgets, they cut programs that help minorities, that help poor folks, that um, they are to blame because they make things tougher on those who don't have advantages and because are the, disadvantaged? The cuts have been absolutely minuscule, absolutely tiny, unbelievably small, and much more important has been the fact that the Republicans, by, by, by virtue of supporting the policies that stopped the crash in, in 2008, 2009 from being a Great Depression stopped a real economic catastrophe. I mean, the Republicans are the ones who saved this economy, not the ones who ruined this economy. And as, as I say, whatever little tiny cuts they might have made here or there in uh, welfare programs, and they were tiny, absolutely tiny. Look, what, by the way, let me back up a second, Shannon. What are they talking about? More people are on food stamps than ever. That's More true. people are getting welfare than ever. What cuts are they talking about? More people are getting government subsidized health care than ever. What cuts are they talking about? It's all a way to racialize voting in this country. This president is the most racist president there has ever been in America. He is purposely trying to use race to divide America. Yeah, he's using race to divide America. I love how he accuses Obama of doing exactly what he's doing and what the Republicans are doing. And did you hear that? He accused Obama of being the most racist president ever. First of all, there's not a scintilla of evidence that Obama's racist at all. I mean, the overwhelming majority of his his cabinet, his close advisors, etc., the executive branch, these are white people. So yeah, he really hates them to the point where they advise him on everything he does ever. But more importantly, to say he's, not only that he's racist, which is absurd, but to say he's the most racist president ever, hello, Warren G. Harding, Woodrow Wilson, uh, McKinley, Calvin Coolidge, Harry Truman, they were all in the KKK. Fucking facepalm, Ben Stein. Fucking facepalm. What a clown of all clowns he is. Man, you are stupid. Do you know that, Ben Stein? You're stupid. You're just a child. You have a low IQ. Do you do no research? Do you do no fact-checking? President Obama's more racist than former KKK member presidents. Okay, now let's get into the bigger conversation here, because I'm just toying around with this with this ass jack with uh, the idea that Obama's racist. But when they talk about, when he talks about, um, well, the Republicans want to help minorities even more than the Democrats do. Thank the Republicans because they supported policies that stopped a depression. I've never heard anything in my life that's more counterfactual. Except maybe the thing about Obama being the most racist president <laughs> ever. Because it was George W. Bush and the Republicans that supported massive deregulation across the board and supported gigantic tax cuts for the rich and not tax cuts for the middle class and the poor. And what happened? The same thing that happened every other time people try 
Reaganomics or trickle-down economics or voodoo economics, as it's called. There was a massive boom-bust cycle. So they caused, they caused the Great Recession, the subprime mortgage crisis, uh, and uh, all the problems associated with that. Bill Clinton played his part too, but that's because Bill Clinton was a center-right president. He was a corporatist Democrat. In many ways, he, agrees with the, he agreed with the Republicans. Uh, so we see the same thing that we've seen throughout history. At, when Ronald Reagan was in office, he did those policies. Boom, bust cycle, everybody with the middle class and the poor were screwed over. George W. Bush, boom, bust cycle, middle class and the poor were screwed over. Going back to the roaring 20s, what happened after the roaring 20s? The 1929 uh, stock market crash and the Great Depression. Why? Because we had Republican policies, deregulation, tax cuts for the rich, and what happened? The same thing that always happens. Boom, bust cycles. And then every single time, the Democrats come in and they clean up the fucking mess. Whether it's FDR, okay, or whether it was Obama. And unfortunately, Obama didn't do it nearly as good as FDR did. FDR did the New Deal. He did Glass-Steagall, strong regulation of the marketplace. Uh... High taxes on the rich. Obama was just, you know, tweaking around the edges and made it slightly better. Did the stimulus and stuff like that. So Obama and the Democrats come along and they at least prevent, a. Uh, uh, depression and what has Ben Stein say? No, the Republicans did it. Did you not follow anything that happened? Do, are you confusing the Democrats with the Republicans? Is that what you're doing? That's got to be what you're doing. That has to be what you're doing. Okay. So uh, this guy is just the clown of all clowns. And finally, when he says, there's no evidence that the Republicans are against black people at all. It's totally made up, totally made up. Really, it's made up. Well, the Republicans have always been in favor, and they're open about this, they're on the record about this, of cutting the social safety net. So, for example, they want to gut Medicare, they want to gut Medicaid, they want to gut Social Security, they want to gut SNAP, every single uh, program that prevents people from going deeper into poverty, they want to cut it. Again, they're on the record with this. And these programs... A lot of these programs definitely help white people. They also help minority communities a lot. But what does he say? Well, no, they want to cut those programs and hurt black people, but it's okay because they don't want to hurt black people. But they want to cut those programs, and that'll hurt black people. But that doesn't mean they are going to hurt black people. That's exactly what it means. That's exactly what it fucking means. And look, I could drag on and on here, but just one more example. The Republicans, the story broke last week that the Republicans are doing a... GOP purge list and they're trying to kick one in seven black people in the country off the voter rolls there's zero evidence of any election fraud but in the guise of we're protecting from election fraud they want to stop one in seven black people in the country from voting and you're to tell me that they're not they're not anti-black that they're not trying to get them to stop from voting, they're not trying to hurt them with their policies. That is exactly what they're doing. These things are facts.